You'll never feel the way I feel You don't know if my love is real Baby, listen to me, here's the deal When you're not here, I'm not the same I'm needing a new chapter, babe Been stuck here in a bed for days Good morning, Tina This is uh, Thursday morning we're going to get some ingredients to make some famous stove top kisses macaroni and cheese. Um, yeah, so I'll see you when I get back with the ingredients. Okay, T Squad, I am back home. I think we're going to just go ahead and get started on this uh, stove top kisses inspired macaroni and cheese. Let's get into the kitchen. Okay, y'all, so we in the kitchen now. We're getting ready to get started on this yummy macaroni and cheese. So I am going to turn the camera around here so you can see the ingredients. Okay, so these are some basic ingredients, I think, but it's going to give off a powerful taste. So look, we got uh, Colby Jack cheese, sharp. I use extra sharp because I like the sharp taste in my mac and cheese. And then over here we have a little bit of mozzarella cheese here. We're using uh, whipping, he uh, heavy whipping cream, three eggs, butter, and sour cream. So those are the ingredients that she used. So over here I have the noodles boiling. One thing um, that I think did make a difference because I made this like two weeks ago and I decided to make it today and I said, let me just film it. So she used, um, let's see if I can show you all what I have here. She used some of this chicken. I do believe she used some chicken bouillon to season the water like, you know, just a cube or two. This is a powder form here. So just pour about a teaspoon or depending on how much you're making in your water. And then um, once you get up to a boil, pour those noodles in there. We're still waiting on these noodles to get ready here. And then, so we're gonna come back to that. So while we wait on the noodles, let's get the little roux together, okay? Yeah, so we're gonna get started. I know most of us have like our own um, recipes for macaroni and cheese and everybody know how to put their foot in their own macaroni and cheese. But I just thought that somebody out there, somebody out there might need, you know, just a, fr uh, a fresh uh, macaroni and cheese recipe. I kind of felt like I was one of those people. So this is what I came across. So I just wanted to share with you guys. Let's get into it. So I know y'all like, wait a minute, Tasha, what's that in that bone? So that is regular milk. Um, I would say, hmm, hmm, I don't know how much that is, but it was two long splats, okay? Um, it depends on how much mac and cheese you're making, you know, with these measurements. And as you very well know, most of us, uh, that makes these dishes on a regular basis or familiar with it. We don't use measurements, you know? We don't, uh, we don't keep up with measurements. We just eyeball it. And that's a lot going on. We're going to season this little mixture here. A little season salt. I know you know my friend Lowry there. Okay, and then we got some heavy whipping cream. We want to add some of that in here. Got that going. Okay. And we have sour cream here. Okay, so Here. We're gonna add two big gulps like this of sour cream in there. Okay. 
that should suffice. We're going to whip this up. We whisk it. We want to make sure the yolk and the eggs are all broken up. Giving it a good whisk here. We, are, we seasoned our roux. Let's not forget to season your roux so that you can have that seasoning going on layer by layer. I like a little black pepper. You do you though, okay? Okay, so while we're waiting, still on the noodles to get ready, let me just tell you about the giveaway. It's gonna be two giveaways. Mm -hmm. I think one is gonna be $50, one is gonna be $25. So two winners. So um, I'm thinking, let's see, this is Thursday. I'm probably gonna put this video up on Friday. <clears throat> Excuse me, on Friday. So, <sighs> Make sure you are tuned in for the next two weeks at least. If you don't tune in, no other time, you know. Sometimes I know, I know. So I, you have to be a subscriber of the T-Squad. And you need to make a comment because how am I going to pick a comment if you don't make one? So comment on the video, thumbs up. Do not forget to thumbs up. You guys, you guys forget to thumbs up the videos. So, I just had to tell y'all that. Hey, we we, we family here. Y'all don't thumb up the video. So, I'm going to need y'all to pay attention to detail. I'm going to need y'all to pay attention to the assignment, okay? I mean that with love. So, let's say... I'll do just a short, quick video next week announcing the winner. Hey and i'm gonna try to get back on track with my every sunday videos okay so um i do have a little travel video coming up um i went to florida again to visit my sister so just some uh quick clips from near uh will be in the video coming up so make sure you're tuned in you're subscribed you Thumbs up, say it with me, the video, okay? And leave a comment. If you don't leave a comment, there's no way I can pick you. So, let's see. <clears throat> We're going to do the um, $25, uh, no, we're going to do the $50 giveaway first. And we are going to make that announcement hmm next friday december 24 50 dollar winner and then the following week will be 25 dollar winner make sure you are tuned in for the next two weeks that's all i can okay. say okay our pasta is ready so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some cheese into this um pan with the noodles just to give it a coating of cheese so this this is how she did it one more okay so we have our cheese in here with the noodles and we have some butter. Oh boy. So we have our cheese in here with the noodles. And we just gonna stir in some butter and some cheese in these noodles. And I believe she did this like as a layering. You know, you don't want to have the noodles just with nothing on them. And then, of course, we're going to pour that roux on top. Okay, so what this is, is I have added mozzarella cheese in. And now, I'm just using uh, a vegetable oil here. Yes. we just spraying that pan real good. And... Just spray in the pan real good. Okay, so let's just add some of our mac and cheese into this pan that we're gonna bake in. We just wanna add like maybe half. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add half on here. 
Don't forget we got our roof, so. That's what we're gonna put on the second, this first half. Our roux that we mixed up here. We're gonna pour some roux in here. Yes. So let's get this all stirred up. Cheese mixed up there. Let's get our coffee back. You want to get all your different cheeses on each layer here that you're going to do here. So just make sure you're mixing your cheeses up here. I got a lot of sharks because that's what I like. I have Colby Jack and I mixed the mozzarella into the pan with the noodles. So let's just mix this layer here up. Mix that up real good. So let's get the rest of Mac in here. No noodle left behind, okay? We need every noodle, every noodle. All right. I think we got everybody. I don't know. What y'all think? My pan might be a little small. I didn't have this problem last time. So we don't have to stir this up. So let's get our shark board in here. Yes, ma'am. A little bit more Colby here. Okay, so in case you haven't noticed, we changed the pan. That pan I was working with wasn't doing it. So I, I, I sprayed this pan with some um, oil. You can use butter to oil your pan, up to you. I added more cheese. This is actually all of the macaroni and cheese. I added it all in here. And then we're gonna finish it off with our good old roux here. Okay, now, we have to mix this all in together, get that macaroni saturated with this roux. We have our oven preheated uh, to 350 degrees. Okay, we got her in the oven. We'll be back in 35 minutes. Okay, guys, I'm back. It's been 35 minutes, and let's see. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, thumbs up the video, and leave a comment. All right, see you Friday for the winner.